options coming to downtown Dayton. It is top story number three. The development will be called Brownstones at Second. The developer has already experienced success with several other projects within the city. Bishal Edme explains how this one is different. This development at Sears and Second has been in the works for years now. And with this groundbreaking, officials believe that more developers will flood downtown. Front loaders pile up the dirt and push it aside, making way for the brownstones at second. The cranes lift up, depositing all sorts of debris into the dump trucks. It's the groundbreaking for a $4.5 million development of 24 townhome condos. What makes you want to invest here locally? Well, you know, home builders like restaurants and other businesses follow the market. When we built our first one, they sold so quickly, we knew there was a market. And uh, our other three developments have sold quickly, too. This is our fourth one, so that's why we do it. For many, Charlie Sims is a hometown hero. The sixth-generation Daytonian took a chance on the Gem City, looking to build it up. City leaders say it worked. Others now follow his lead. Two News has a first look at these two-bedroom townhomes that will start at about $215,000. Amenities include a two-car garage, wood deck, and easy access to downtown attractions. Mayor Nan Willey says building more downtown residential areas gives way for growth. I think it's a, a key point for uh, uh, some other suburban developers that we're welcome and love to do business with them too. Uh, the interest uh, from when I was a city commissioner to now is amazing and uh, uh, we're really pleased by that. And for buyers, Sim says there's also a financial perk. Since the city of Dayton has the community reinvestment areas and our home buyers actually at this site will get a 15-year tax abatement on their property taxes, which means they'll only be paying on the land value, which is relatively low, and they'll be saving between three, on this site, three and four thousand dollars a year on their property taxes. So it's a great incentive for the buyers. The developer says already there's been a bid for one of these townhomes. He expects to see more in the coming days. Reporting in Dayton, Beershaw Edmay, 5 on 2.